Hello guys, Adam here and welcome to another video. In this video I will be doing a review of RS11 on the iPhone 7 Plus. So I've got a 128GB iPhone 7 Plus here. <coughs> Excuse me for that. In um, jet black. It's a fully working iPhone with oh, whoops, iOS 11 so if I open up and have a look for So about there it says get to focus version eleven one five a five three one eight one eight g there okay yeah so start off with what has changed in iOS eleven so probably the biggest thing is the control panel. Just move the camera back so you can see more. So here with the control panel you can see that it's different. It's here like if you go in here, this is a iPhone 5S running just normal iOS 10. So here you can see there's a difference. This is iOS 11 beta by the way, beta 3. Um so they're all having on two slides, like one for your music controls and one for brightness, airdrop, and your quick settings, quick launch apps. It's just all in one. And a lot of these things now have false touch. You can false touch on here, do things like that. False, if you false touch on brightness, you can turn on night shift. So it's just good for nighttime reading. Um, false touch on here, you can have more. So you can turn on your mobile data. Turn airplay mode, Wi Fi, airdrop. If you full search on your music, you can have a look at what you're playing, change volume. You've got your Apple TV here, so you can use the remote. I don't have an Apple TV. Apple Car, Visa, you can have notes, alarm clock. Not all of these have um, full search if they don't, they just vibrate and don't do anything. So, a new feature which I like and probably you've heard of is it's a screen recording so you can record your screen what you're doing on it so it's quite good and you can just you can do the same here just slide up and down up and down like this to access your normal stuff if you go back um, app store has changed so loads you have like this new today section it's like new apps, app of the day, new games that have come out, what, what to do, game of the day, for a barbecue, you've got new sections, like you've got games here, I'll be down at the bottom here, you have a section for apps, you can just have a look at all your apps, slide through like you normally do, you've got different parts of the apps, update there and you've got your normal search tool um, news app just go for basic apps, calendar app it's different so it's just got series suggests time to leave so it looks just like it does on normal on iOS 10 oh I think my phone's dead oh no it's not so so yeah if you just go to the calendars look exactly the same if you go into your photos here you know, it does look a bit different like what happened last weekend you got your library stuff like that it, it, it look, it's right about the same look to it um, it still has false touch so there's just more things on false touch Camera is the same, but like they are different. If you open a calculator there, like a little open up sequence looks different. Or like when you open it up, I just find a calculator on here. Yeah, so the actual logo itself, if you click on it here, okay, it opens up, look a bit there, look there, it opens up differently. You've got a different calculator. I think if I turn up the volume right to here, I think it like does a different click to it.
yeah, it's got a click to it, which is different. I think it's different to one in iOS 10. Um, camera app is just the same. You've got your normal portrait view, you have your square. Yeah, so it's all the same. Um, you've got your normal apps. You can just go through, swipe through here. Just got that. Something I don't like is the new notification panel. Like here, normally like that. There's a little cross up here to get rid of them. I go here, slide down here, slide down here. It's got the same stuff, but there's just it's one here. You can just clear them all like that. But on this one, it just separates it up. I don't, I don't like it to be honest. Um, yeah, when you do it, then you have to full touch. Then you have to click it there. You can't really swipe. If you just go to lock screen, nothing's really different. You got you still have a press to open up. You got um oh, the camera's got a bit out of focus. Yeah, you've got your normal apps, weather, it's all all the same. Um yeah, everything like that. Alright, the fingerprint scanner is still amazingly quick. Much quicker than a 5S. Uh Apple Music looks the same to me. Not really any different. There's a few different added features on it, but um, apart from that, that is the same. So I will be having a review soon of the uh, Huawei Mate S. I did do a first 24 hours impression of it. Had that phone for like maybe a month now, so I will be doing a review of that soon. I promise you that will be coming out soon. Um, if you want, put in the comments if I want to do a comparison of a iPhone 7 Plus with iOS 11 and a iPhone 5S with iOS 10 on it. So thank you for watching and I'm out.